Blindsided by Priscilla Cummings. As Natalie's eyesight deteriorates, she reluctantly goes to a school for the blind where she continues to believe she won't ever completely lose her sight. Until the day she actually faces a life and death situation where she must rely on her other senses to stay alive. Join Natalie on her journey of self-discovery as she faces a future she is unwilling to see. One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia The year was 1968, a time of revolution and civil unrest. Time for Delphine and her sisters to visit the woman who gave them life, then abandoned them. They flew to Oakland with dreams of Disneyland, but they ended up in a summer camp run by the Black Panthers. Pack your bags and go cross country with Delphine, Bonetta, and Fern as they try to reclaim the love of a mother who doesn't even want them around. Warriors in the Crossfire by Nancy Bo Flood On the Japanese-occupied island of Saipan, Joseph is a native destined to be a warrior like his father. Little does he know, World War II is coming to the island, and when the American forces invade, he will find himself thrust into a leadership role he never imagined. Prepare to dodge bullets with Joseph as he tries to lead his family to safety in the midst of one of the fiercest battles of World War II. Crunch by Leslie Connor America's gas pumps have run dry and most everyone is riding bicycles. When Dewey's parents can't get back home from their vacation, someone will have to keep their bike repair shop and their family running smoothly. Air up your tires and ride along with Dewey and his siblings as they, and America, try to get through this crunch without grinding their gears. The Danger Box by Blue Balliette. Twelve years ago, Zumi's alcoholic father abandoned him. Now his father has dropped in and disappeared again, leaving a mysterious package behind. Inside the package, Zumi finds an old notebook and it's up to him and his best friend Laurel to uncover the secrets within. Put on your detective hat and help the duo solve the mystery before the wrong person comes looking for the notebook. The Nightmares by Dan Pablocki Timothy has been having nightmares lately, and when he is paired with the new girl Abigail in a school project, the line between dreams and reality are blurred. Whoever, or whatever, is causing the nightmares must be found and stopped before it's too late. Turn on all the lights and make sure you're wide awake because Timothy, Abigail, and the Nightmares are about to take you into a world that simply isn't for those who scare easily. After Ever After by Jordan Sonnenblick Jeffrey might have beaten cancer, but he's about to face his biggest challenge yet the eighth grade. Chemotherapy left him with limitations that may cause him to be held back, his big brother abandoned him to go to Africa, and his best friend is acting strangely. But Jeffrey's just met the coolest girl ever and she actually thinks he's cute. Hop on your bike and ride along with Jeffrey as he navigates the up and down roller coaster known as the eighth grade.
A Crack in the Sky by Mark Peter Hughes The earth has overheated and sickness has devastated the planet. If you don't live in a domed city, you don't live long. Lately, Eli has noticed problems with the domes and he wants answers, even if it means betraying his own powerful family. Turn up the AC because Eli is about to take you on a desperate search for the truth. And he is playing with fire. Saving Sky by Diane Stanley In Sky Brightman's world, the attacks on American soil kept coming after 9-11. When the Department of Homeland Security unfairly targets an innocent classmate's family, Sky and her own family must decide how far they will go to help their fellow man. Muster up your courage and follow Sky as she risks everything to take a stand against injustice. The Grim Legacy by Polly Shulman Elizabeth had never heard of the New York Circulating Material Repository until she was nominated by a teacher to take a job there. Once inside, she finds a world of historical, secret, even mystical items available for checkout. When some of her fellow employees and several magical items from the Grimm collection go missing, Elizabeth finds herself playing the part of detective and suspect. Join Elizabeth as she tries to clear her name and help return the repository back to normal. Woods Runner by Gary Paulson Samuel Smith is a child of the forest and at only 13 years old he is already an expert woodsman. One day while out hunting the British Army raids his family's frontier settlement. His home burned to the ground, his neighbors dead, his parents nowhere to be found. Slip on your buckskin moccasins and join Samuel as he desperately tracks his parents, hoping against hope that he will see them again. Ninety Miles to Havana by Enrique Flores Galvez During the Cuban Revolution, Julian's mother has no choice but to send her three sons to a refugee camp in America. After challenging the camp bully, Julian's brothers are sent away and he must devise an escape plan before the bully gets the best of him. Come along for the ride to see if Julian can escape and whether or not he will ever see his brothers or his parents again. The Dead Boys by Royce Buckingham Teddy and his mom just arrived at their new home, and Teddy can't help but notice the creepy sycamore tree next door. Little does he know, the tree notices him too, and it's feeding time. Make like a tree and leaf the light on as you see if Teddy can break the chain of mysterious disappearances before he becomes the next victim. Sources of Light by Margaret McMullen After Samantha moves to Mississippi during a time of racial tension and injustice, her mom meets a man who teaches Samantha how to use a camera to record the best and worst in those around her. As she develops her own ability to stand up for what she believes, she'll find that exposing the truth isn't always easy. Get your camera and follow Sam as she captures a portrait of humanity, learning to filter out negativity along the way. Scroll.
Scrawl, a novel by Mark Shulman. Meet Todd Munn. He's a bully who could win the spelling bee if he wanted to. He's also in big trouble for a serious crime. His punishment? Sitting in detention every day writing in a journal. If he doesn't write, he's off to juvie. Pull up a chair and see if Todd can put his thoughts down without revealing too much. They said he can write anything he wants. <laughs> they asked for it. <laughs>